What's going on, WeRSC.com viewers? Angel Viscara coming to you from the floor here at the Galen Center, where USC just wrapped up its Monday practice of Oregon Week. The Trojans obviously coming off of a tough weekend in Arizona, where they dropped matchups to Arizona State and Arizona. So USC currently finds itself on a three-game losing streak. But despite the struggles recently, USC is still very much in the swing of things in the Pac-12. The Trojans are just two games behind conference leading Arizona, and they're still tied with rival UCLA for second place in the conference standings. So the Trojans still have a lot to be playing for as Oregon and Oregon State make their way to this building this upcoming weekend to take on the Trojans. I had the chance to chat with USC sophomore forward Nick Rakosevic following today's practice to chat up his big game against Arizona State last week and what he thinks is the most important key for the Trojans going forward this week against the Ducks and the Beavers. Angel Viscara with WeRSC.com and I am joined by USC sophomore forward Nick Rakosevic following the team's Monday practice of Oregon week and Nick team's obviously coming off a couple of tough losses out in Arizona a, a three-game skid what, what are the conversations in the locker room like right now? Um, you know just staying focused you know uh, played three hard games away um, you know we have home court advantage now so you know just coming in staying focused and uh, you know hopefully just get a couple wins. All right looking at that Arizona State game specifically last Thursday we see how it finishes nine straight points for the Sun Devils and the loss for you guys. Um, how does the team address that going forward? Um, you know obviously that was a tough loss but I think you know we just need to learn from it put it uh, put it behind us. Um, you know it just came down to that last shot um, that holder hit at the end there and uh, you know, it was it, we fought the whole game. You know, I thought I thought our team did a great job of competing the whole 40 minutes. But you know, I just need to make a need to make the small plays. You know, the loose balls and boxing out on uh, on uh, you know offensive rebounds and defensive rebounds. So you know, I think that we get that taken care of. You know, we we uh, come out with a win Thursday. All right, and despite the three-game losing streak, you guys are still tied for second with UCLA. Still very much in the swing of things in the Pac-12. Does this feel like the team that? can really have that ability to just turn things around on a dime and, and go on to win this thing? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I think that our, we're, we're still pretty confident, you know, even though we're on a three-game losing streak. Um, you know, I think that um, you just stay focused throughout the, this week of practice, and, uh, you know, we're, we're shooting for that first place. And, you know, I think that this is a team that full of guys who are just uh, capable of, you know, doing great things at any point in the season. So, um, you know, we have uh, another five games, I think, left uh, in regular Pac-12 play. So, you know, we're just going to – focus it one by one and you know see if we could see what happens all right big game for you against Arizona State specifically 19 points just looking at your numbers across the board it seems like there's some progression from your freshman year to now how much growth have you felt over the past year um I, I felt a lot of growth um you know I think that uh just being more confident you know just being out there and uh you know just uh, getting my experience up and playing uh you know I think also you know my uh guards they do a great job of getting us the ball you know and I think that makes the game a lot easier and uh, you know I, I think this year I've been uh, just more aggressive going the free throw line a little bit more you know knocking down my free throws uh, um, I think I had seven against Arizona State so you know that was uh, that was kind of big um, so yeah just being confident you know just uh, I'll keep working on my game you know working on aspects that I didn't have last year so just uh, but I'd say confidence is the main thing you know this year just uh, just keep getting better all right, let's wrap up talking a little bit about these Oregon schools coming to the Galen Center. Yeah. Big game Thursday night against Oregon. What's going to have to go right for you guys to get back on track? Uh, I think we're just going to have to defend. You know, they're, they're a very talented team. You know, they got a, a lot of guys that can score the ball. Um, so, you know, I think just it's going to come down to defense and just, uh, you know, boxing out. You know, they're, they're, we, have a, we have a bigger advantage, I think. You know, we have, a, we have me at around 6'11", Chim at 6'11", and, and Benny at 6'10". So, you know, we... we we bring uh, we bring size and length, so I think you know that that we're gonna have to affect them with that, and uh, you know I think just playing hard for 40 minutes will be fine. I appreciate it, Nick. Best of luck going forward. Trojans will look to break a three-game losing skid right here at the Galen Center against Oregon on Thursday night. For WeRSC.com, I'm Angel Vascara, joined by Nick Rakosevic, and you're watching WeRSC.